Hey guys, welcome to part two of the Ionic Framework uh, web series. In the last video, we went ahead and installed Ionic and Cordova, and we just generated a very simple uh, blank application. All right, now we have the index page open here, and we changed the H1 to my to dos, and we also have the server running. You can see we have Ionic Serve running, which gives us our application in a browser. So there's a few things I want to do before we get into creating our element UI elements and stuff like that. Um, so let's open up the app.js file that's in our www folder. All right. So first thing I want to do is we're going to change the name of our base module. So basically the name of our application. All right. We're going to change that to my to do's. And I'm also going to set a variable called app and set that equal to the angular module. That way we can just run our, for instance, this this run command, we can now say app dot run. And if we want to create, let's say a controller, we can say app dot controller and so on. All right, so let's save that. And you'll notice that when I save it, the header bar disappears over here. That's because if we go back to our index HTML, we have this ng app directive and it's set to starter. All right, but we change starter to my to do's. So we also have to change it here. Okay, once I save that, it goes back to normal. All right, so what we want to do now is we want to set up a router, all right, because we're going to have a few different pages. We're going to have the home screen, which will list all the to-dos. We're going to have um, a form to add to-dos. We're going to have an edit form. So we're going to need a router. So let's go to app.js, and we'll go after this app.run. We're going to end this with a semicolon here, and then we're going to say app dot config all right and this is where we can actually set our router so let's put a function in here okay this is going to take two things it's going to take a state provider and also a URL router provider Oops. now state provider is uh, in Ionic we have, or actually in Angular, which Ionic runs on top of, we have something called states, which you can just think is as basically pages. So for instance, right now our application could be in the home state. All right, if we click add to do and it takes us to a new page with a form, that could be the add state, okay? And we can use our router to navigate between states. So first thing we're gonna do is set up uh, a to do state, all right? And we'll, we'll use that as our home state as well. Okay, so let's say state provider dot state. Uh, and then inside here, we want to name it. So we'll call it to do's. All right, and then we're going to pass in a second parameter, which will be some curly braces. And we're going to say URL. The URL is going to be slash. So basically just the home screen. And then we can assign a template. So we'll say template URL. We'll say to do's.html. And we can also assign a controller. All right, so our controller will be to do's CTRL. So now what we want to do is create these two things, okay, the template and the controller. So for our controllers, we're going to have one file called controllers.js. Let's create that. Okay, you want that to go right along with the app.js inside the JS folder. So let's open that up. And we're going to say um, app.controller. Okay, this is going to be the to do's controller. All right, now the controller function is going to get something called a scope. All right, and that's going to be used to bind data from our controller to our view and uh, also the other way around. All right, so let's, um, Let's create a scope variable and just test things out. So we'll say scope.name equals Bob. All right, so let's save that. Now you won't see anything yet. 
let's open up a console here so we can see if we have any issues. Uh, fail to load to dos.html. All right, now we're getting this because in our router here, we have the template URL as to do's HTML, and we don't have that. So we need to create a template. Now, we're not going to create separate files for the templates. We're actually going to put them all in the index file. All right, and before we do that, I'm going to just get rid of everything here. And we're going to use the navbar component. So I'm going to open up, where is it, our documentation. Here it is. All right, so the IN navbar is basically a, a header bar that updates when the application state changes. All right, so for instance, if we're on one page and then we go to, let's say, the add form page that we'll have, um, it'll automatically put a back button in the header in the navbar. All right, so it does little things like that. So let's grab, we'll grab this and put that right in there like that. Um, I'm going to change it from bar positive to bar dark. And then in between here, we want our back button. So we're going to say ion dash nav back button. Okay, and that also needs an ending tag. All right, so just like that, we don't need to put anything in here. It'll just automatically know what to do. All right, and then under this, we're going to put in our nav view tag. So ion nav view. Okay, and then we want to end that as well. Okay, now under here is where we're going to put our templates. Okay, so we have, um, what was it, to do's? template URL to do's HTML. All right, so what we'll do is put in a script tag and you want to make sure that you put a type and that's going to be text slash ng template. Okay, just like that. All right, now in here, we want to add an I in view tag. So I in view, and we're going to give this a view title. Let's set that to um, to do's. And yeah, that's good. And then inside there, we want to have an I in content tag. That's where all our content will go. And I'm going to give us a class of uh, to do's content. OK, so now let's just do test and let's save. And let's see what's going on. Oh, I didn't include the ID. The script here actually needs an ID of whatever the HTML page is going to be. So we're going to say ID equals uh, to do's dot HTML. All right, now that's not showing. Oh, we didn't include the controllers JS file. So we have to put that right under the app JS. Okay, there we go. All right, so now we're getting our header to do's here as well as our content, which we just have test. Now let's make sure that we connect our controller to um, our element here. So we want this to do's controller and let's put that inside of a div in here. So we'll say div ng controller. Okay, let's get rid of test. And the controller is going to be to do's CTRL. All right, so now we should be able to access the scope variable here. So scope.name. And the way we can do that is with double curly braces and name. All right, and now I save it, and you can see we get Bob. 
So we're binding data from our controller to our view, to our template. All right, so now that we know that that's working, in the next video, we're going to work on some UI. We're going to um, get an input field here so we can add a to-do, uh, and then we'll also have a list below it with the actual to-dos. All right, so I will see you in the next video.